Now to this, rival rideshare apps are setting their sights on Minneapolis as we get closer to the day that Uber and Lyft say they're leaving. Two driver-owned cooperatives announced their plans to move into the Twin Cities market just this afternoon, and Ben Henry was there as they made their pitch, Ben. Paul, this all started when the Minneapolis City Council passed a minimum driver pay ordinance. Uber and Lyft said for months that they'd leave if the city passed it. Now, this ordinance could change, but the way it sits now, Uber and Lyft say they're out come May 1st. And now companies are getting ready to slide in and take their place. We need to see, we see the sunshine. They're taking too much from us. Mariana Brown feels brighter days are ahead. I'm very excited today to stand here before you. As a rideshare driver, she's welcoming two cooperatives working to enter the Twin Cities market. We have a company that is for the drivers. Also a vice president of the Minnesota Uber Lyft Driver Association, Brown stood alongside those companies as they shared their vision for the Twin Cities. We, we believe that the drivers and the, co the company can sit down and eat the cake rather than today in each city, the drivers are fighting over the crumbs. Mustafa Sheikh works for Hitch, which he says operates in Africa and Canada. Thank you to the drivers here for standing up and saying, not in Minnesota, enough is enough. Is enough. And Eric Foreman is the co-founder of the Drivers Cooperative. Sign up. Or Co-op Ride. Currently working in New York City. We are launching a community-driven campaign to build driver-owned rideshare in Minnesota. Right now, Co-op Ride is trying to gauge interest, urging potential riders and drivers to download their app. So far, Foreman says at least 200 drivers have signed up, still far from what he'd like before launching here. So let's build something better and different. Both cooperatives now working to get licensed ahead of that May 1st date when Uber and Lyft say they're out. Why should these big corporations live on the back of us? When asked about rider safety, both companies said they'll be held to the same standard as Uber and Lyft. A few specifics there include insurance, car inspections, and background checks for the drivers. Now, as for the pay and prices, specifics weren't shared either. Meanwhile, the Minneapolis City Council will bring up the minimum driver pay ordinance once again in their meeting in April. Live in Minneapolis, Ben Henry, 5 Witness News. Ben, they've got a lot to figure out in just a month. Thank you.